What up guys, Zach Man with Micro Profits FX. Just doing a little video update today on uh, what's uh, kind of been happening. So we're gonna look at the US CAD. Obviously we're in the negative right now. Uh, it's kind of bouncing around here a little bit, not too much, but um, we do have a, a buy divergence on the daily chart, but we do have this nice little trend line and obviously it is a downtrend, but I'm hoping I might close out of this if it does surpass, but we won't know that until the next candle. Um, so the next uh, 24 or 22 hours or whatever it is. Uh, we'll kind of see where that goes from there. Um, otherwise, I'm thinking that it's going to hit the, the, the channel right here, um, which is far above or below my stop loss and then kind of continue back down. So that is my plan of what's going to happen, whether or not it does. We don't know. All right, moving on. Next one that we're into, we're in four trades right now. EuroCAD, um, obviously it's in the positive right now. I drug my stop loss down to break even, so I really don't care what it does. If it goes back, well, then it stops out. And no fall or no harm, no fall, right? Um, if it continues down, we're going to see our take profit and it should uh, help uh, take care of last week's losses and then some. So this should be a little bit more profitable. Um, so far, it's still looking good as far as the downtrend goes. Um, like I said, it's uh, already hit the top channel. So we're hoping it goes to the below channels for daily and the, out, and the four hour chart. Or at least close to where I have my trailing bot set at. So uh, looking good there. Next one that we got in, uh, it's not on the video, but I am in as well, is CAD, the Canadian. So CAD, CHF, right, we're in, um, CAD Swiss. Uh, we are in a buy, and it's kind of a little bit on the line there, so we're in a little bit of negative, but not too much. But when, what intrigued me about this, obviously there's no divergence, but was the channel here. Um, obviously we have the uh, trend line, or channel trend line, uh, going down and it did surpass that so i'm hoping we kind of see a little bit of uptrend um, we do have the channel if we zoom out here um, it is kind of a little bit down but you know it's kind of not fully downtrend yet so um, obviously if you follow this trend it's still pointing up um, same thing with this one uh, so it's not really signaling a downtrend quite yet so i'm hoping to kind of catch it right as it starts doing its breakout to the upside um, but again i do have a stop loss just in case um, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that too. And then the next one we are in is the Kiwi uh, Swiss as well. So um, the NZD CHF. Uh, basically, I did uh, do a buy entry um, when I was looking at it. I believe it was the 30-minute chart that we were looking at when I got into it. Or was it the hour chart? Let me look. Now I can't remember what chart it was. It must have been the 30. I'm trying to see where the buy was. Or maybe it was a lower... Yeah, it could have been the 200 day moving average that I was looking at when I entered. It kind of looked like it was bouncing along there. It could have took off, but um, and I was looking at. I didn't have my. I was using my phone. I wasn't uh, at my computer at the time. But um, anyways, I thought I was going to do a nice reversal. Uh, and that did not take place, obviously. Um, but uh, the divergence uh, for the daily is signaling a sell as well. Um, obviously, we have that little trend line, which uh, did break through, and then that's when I initiated the sell. I just stopped it out right as soon as it broke that trend line, um, just because, obviously, it's more likely going to be a sale. Now, there is going to be an interest rate decision today on the Australian dollar, which does affect the QE as well, because they're kind of one and one together. Um, so, we'll kind of, I might drag my stop loss to pretty much where we entered the sell, uh, just in case it does, or what happens. So, um, I'm hoping that it continues to go down, but again with interest rates you just never know it could bounce up and then go back down i don't know anything's possible but i don't like to trade right around the major news like that but usually the news is already kind of set in at that point anyways too with the trends so you have to keep an eye on that and then let's continue I think, was that all the trades yeah i think it was just the four that i mentioned there so if we take a look right now we are in profit of two dollars and three cents um obviously the biggest drawdown right now is uh the usd cad at about negative uh, dollar thirty nine, otherwise EuroCAD doing good at two forty eight, and so is the Kiwi uh, Swiss. That's about dollar twenty, and then uh, the Canadian Swiss is you know negative nine cents, so not too bad. But usually the biggest one right now is CAD, which hopefully that kind of changes or the USD um, CAD Canadian um, right now. And if you take a look at, like I said, I did have a right here was the buy for the nzd chf and it was about a negative two dollars i took it out at and once it like i said it hit right here you can kind of zoom in here so i bought 
and then I sold right there as soon as that one closed the candle and opened up that one. So I was like, yeah, it's time to get out and reverse that into a sell. And we'll go from there. Uh, another thing I wanted to show real quick that I'm in is uh, there's a, I'll put a link in the description for the website. You guys want to check it out, but it's all free. It's a, they do a demo account uh, for a chance to, they do a challenge every month. And right now uh, there's 26 days left to do the challenge in 22 minutes. So anybody can join. It's all free. Basically, whoever has the most, uh, gets the most pibs throughout the month will have a chance to win. Let's take a look here. Challenges. Let me kind of zoom out of this a little bit. So the challenges for November of 2019, grand prize, 250 for first place, second place, 50, third place, 25. I think they keep going down a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller. I think up to like 10 maybe, but um, and there's nothing upcoming. But last month, they did one for 1,000, uh, which is pretty cool, but um. Yeah, so I entered this just to kind of see what uh, what I can do right now. Right now, oops, I'll go back to the channel. I want to see what the number one. All right, so Ricky. Ricky, number one, has a profit right now of $3,960. And right now, I enter these trades. Um, I think it was like last, I don't know, last week, I think. Like, like so last Friday, I didn't actually do it on my live account just because, like I said, we were done. So, hey, snooze, you lose, right? But I didn't want to. I didn't want to really enter them i should have but i didn't but anyways we're at a profit of about five thousand nine hundred eleven dollars right now and we are in the nzd usd and the aud cad is what we're in right now so that's giving us a little bit of a profit so if i were to close these right now i'd be number one right now but hey it's only you know 26 days left so i'm sure that's going to change quite a bit because i know last month uh whatever it shows uh, yeah, it was 48000 last month. Whoever uh, got first place. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to kind of see how well these ones go. And actually, let's kind of look at that chart. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Um, I want to look at the NZD USD chart and the Audi CAD. Actually, look at both of them. Let's kind of see what. Uh, oh, yeah, there's room for it to go down more. Looks at the daily. Yeah, that'll probably continue going down, especially, I think the interest rate is going to be the same, so usually that's kind of a negative, because if, if it's negative or they change it down, it's usually negative. If they actually increase it, it's considered a positive, so, but again, anything happens in the Forex market, nothing's ever set in stone, so let's look at this one, this one, I got a little bit more room to go down there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep those going. I even have a sell divergence, so this one, ooh, this one. And that one can really go down if it breaks through this trend line right here. Man, we can see some. I'm going to have to end, we'll keep an eye on that for this count, too, for the real trading there. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. I don't want to take too long or too much of your time. But uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, um, subscribe to the Telegram. Everything's in the link description. So you can uh, follow me through there, too. I'll try to, uh, once I get a nice following, we'll try to do a little bit more uh, posting pictures. And that way you can actually see instantly when I'm taking trades um so you don't have to sit here and watch youtube or reload it waiting for me to put a comment in and kind of see where i got going on there so uh yeah happy trading guys and let's uh let's make a positive uh uh to the end of the year anyways and then we'll start off next year 2020 and hopefully we'll have to grow this account hopefully my goal is to have this account by at least a hundred dollars um from taking it from 10 or whatever i think it was like 14 dollars this month or this week that i put in um and grow to 100 so you can kind of see all that happens and then we kind of continue to snowball and compound my interest from there so thanks guys and have a great day